I am 8 and this is the 2023 breakdown of my sim rig. I always wanted one growing up, but I'd, I'd see them online, but they'd be too pricey. Uh, a few years back, my wife got me a play seat and a Logitech setup uh, right before the pandemic and then when she set it up and I sat on it and that's a few years ago and that's where I, just before the pandemic actually, that's where I started really really getting into it when I had that, my first break. current setup is a Thrustmaster setup. Uh, it's all Thrustmaster hooked up on uh, Xbox and uh, PlayStation. Like it's all for consoles long. Pedals, wheelbase, wheel, H shifter and e-brake, they're all Thrustmaster. So the wheelbase is the thing where you connect the wheel to. This is a Thrustmaster TX. It's for, uh, it's for the Xbox, but I have a little thingy called the Drive Hub, which I used to hack the thing so I can use it both on Xbox and PS5. And the wheel is a Ferrari 599 replica, actually. It's a GT wheel, which I use for Gran Turismo. And I have another round wheel for, for dirt for my rally games on the Xbox. The shifter and the handbrake, they're both Thrustmaster. I use the e-brake mostly for rally games and I use the H-shifter when I'm driving old cars in the sim games. The pedals are basically stock except for the uh, pedal plates. I change them in a Sparco pedals. And the nice thing about the pedal is it has the thing on the brake pedal that kind of simulates how a real brake would react when you step on it. So it's a little more stiff and it, the, the feedback is nice on it. So it's nice when you trail brake and do all that stuff. The whole set is modded up. Like I, I, this is like the most I could get with mods, but basically it's just for the paddle shifters for the wheel, I have extra magnets so it would just feel tighter. Same thing with the H shifter, just so it, would, it wouldn't be that loose. It's a little more tighter with the mods on it. And uh, all the other mods are just like DIY things. Like I, there's a, I put a fan for my balls when it's hot, right where the pedals are so it's blowing up. So it would feel like like the wind is going through you when you're driving. And the uh, transducers for the seats. Uh, I have these things, like they're called bass shakers and I have a bunch of them all over the seat. They're like speakers, but instead of sound, they, they vibrate. So I have an EQ there somewhere on the side where I tweak the sound, but I'm not really tweaking the sound, I'm tweaking the vibration. So the, the sound coming from the consoles, I, I kind of convert it so it would turn in a like vibration. So it would rumble the seat the same way a car would feel. So like if the, if the wheels are coming off be, from behind me, I could kind of feel it left and right. And if I hit the bump or if there are like uh, potholes on the road, you kind of feel it everywhere actually. There are transducers on the shifter, on the pedals, behind the seat and under the seat. So everything I touch kind of rumbles at the same time. Oh, because uh, I didn't know where to get it or how to go around and find out because uh, I never knew any local sim guys. Cause, uh, but you know, since my wife got it, I just kind of looked around on Facebook and I ended up finding Sim Racers PH, like a group of local Sim guys, and they kind of helped me out. Like all the stuff I got, they kind of hooked me up with it, like mostly secondhand stuff, and you can get brand new stuff too. 
just go to Simracer's PH at Facebook and they'll sort you out. VR, I play Gran Turismo and uh, all my other gun games like Pablo. But yeah, basically yun lang. Just, I'm not really, like I don't play a bunch of games. Like it's either a couple of driving games and one shooting game. But they're all in VR, so. Ever since I got the headset, I just never play. I mean, I, I still play like a few platforms here and there, pero mostly VR na lang since I got the headset. If you always were curious about how VR would be compared to getting a PC, we would set you back three grand. If you get the PS5 and a headset, it'll only cost you a grand and still way cheaper with the fidelity and everything. Pero yun nga, ako kasi I couldn't, I couldn't work, I couldn't figure out how to work PCs and I've always been a console guy so it just made sense for me to get the PSVR 2 instead of having a whole PC setup. So thanks for checking out the rig. I hope you guys can like figure out how to make your own eventually. And uh, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. See you guys.